with cat's eye is Bobby's favorite box. Yeah! Shh. I love this book. Topsy and Tim have a birthday party by Jean and Gareth Adamson. It was Topsy and Tim's birthday. The first thing they saw when they woke up was a pile of birthday presents. The postman brought them lots of birthday cards and a package from Granny. Happy birthday, twins, he said. How did you know it was our birthday, asked Topsy. I guessed, laughed the postman. After breakfast, Topsy and Tim went into the garden to try out their new rollerblades. Happy birthday, Topsy and Tim, shouted their friends over the fence. How did you know it was our birthday? asked Tim. Because you invited us to your birthday party this afternoon, silly, said Kerry. Later, Dad took them to the shops to buy party balloons and candles for their birthday cake. Happy birthday, Topsy and Tim, said Mrs Patel. How did you know it was our birthday? asked Topsy and Tim. A little bird told me, said Mrs Patel. When they got home, Topsy and Tim helped to get everything ready for their birthday party. Dad showed them how to blow up the balloons. Then they hung the balloons in bright bunches around the room. Topsy and Tim and Dad went into the kitchen to help make the party tea. Mummy showed Topsy how to ice the little cakes. Tim stuck a sweet on top of each one. Dad was putting sticks into the party sausages. He popped a sausage into his mouth and gave one each to Topsy and Tim. Stop that, said Mummy, or there won't be any left for the party. Can Tim and I put the candles on our birthday cake? asked Topsy. No, said Mummy. You're having a surprise birthday cake, so I'll put the candles on. You can help Dad put the food on the tea table. Topsy and Tim enjoyed carrying the wibbly wobbly jellies. Everything was ready for the party. Then their friends started to arrive. Vinda was the first, then Tony Welch. Stevie Dunton and Andy Anderson came together. Here I am, said Kerry. Ray was just behind. They had all brought birthday presents for Topsy and Tim. Is everyone here? asked Mummy. Everyone except Josie, said Topsy. We can't start without Josie, said Tim. I think we'd better, said Mummy. First, they played musical chairs. Dad played the music. Each time the music stopped, they had to find a chair to sit on. I've not got a chair, said Topsy. You're out then, said Dad. Stevie Dunton won musical chairs. Mummy gave him a prize. Next, they played Pin the Tail on the Donkey. It was Topsy's favourite game. Tim pinned the tail on the donkey's nose and everyone laughed. Tim laughed too when he saw what he had done. Time for one more game before tea, said Mummy. We'll play Pass the Parcel. Just then, the doorbell rang. It was Josie. Hooray, said Topsy and Tim. Josie sat down between Topsy and Tim and the music began. Every time the music stopped, the one holding the parcel had to unwrap it a bit more. Everybody's won something except me, grumbled Josie. Then she won past the parcel. This is a good party, said Josie. Time for the birthday tea, said Dad. There was plenty of food for everyone and lots of orange to drink. I was thirsty, said Andy Anderson. Mummy came in with a surprise birthday cake. Ooh, it's a dinosaur, said the children. The dinosaur had candles all down its back. All the children sang happy birthday and Topsy and Tim blew out their birthday candles with one big puff. For more videos, please subscribe and like.